Now, one of the last things we want to take a look here includes this isometric view. Okay, this is the view that we're going to use the solid profile in. So, uh, it doesn't need to be to scale, but you can do like a zoom extents just so you can get most of the model in there, right? And what you're doing here is with the solid profile view command, okay, you're going to be using the solid. So this is, this is how it's different from soul view. We're going to select the solid and then hit enter. The, the series of prompts here is going to help you project the hidden and the visible lines. So you can see here, uh, just say yes for the hidden lines and say yes for the profile lines. And we're going to delete the tan tangential edges. And then in order to see the line work, what we need to do here is simply freeze the 3D layer for this viewport alone. You do not want to freeze it for the entire model, just the viewport alone. And then now you should be able to see, uh, let's go ahead and freeze or lock that uh, viewport so we can zoom in. All right. Now you can see because those tangent till edges were re removed, you don't see them there, right? You just have the solid visible lines and then the hidden lines as well. Now alternatively, you can show this viewport as just a shaded model. And in order to do that, what you could do is, one, if you already created these uh, um, profile lines, you could freeze them. And then you could show once again the model, the 3D layer, and then using the visual display styles here, switch it to conceptual, right? So this way you can show a shaded model. So either one would be acceptable, all right? Now, we got most of everything completed here. Uh, let's just quick, quickly take a look at what it looks like so far by freezing that viewport layer, okay? You can see basically all that's missing now are our dimensions, right? But take a look at this broken view here, all right? For this broken view, uh, the simple solution here is you could use any of your, uh, let's say your dimension layers here, or, or your hit, your visible layers uh, for the top view, okay? And just simply draw in a polyline. Now notice here how when I try to snap to the endpoint, I can't, right? If I once again turn on that viewport, I'll be able to use it to snap to my object, right? So if I just draw a polyline starting at this corner here, and actually I should double check what settings I have. I need intersection. Yeah, that is turned on. I should be able to snap to it. And I can try using a shift right click for apparent intersection. Okay. Oh, that's weird. Snapped all the way to the bottom there. But even if I start here, I can just draw a little squiggly line like this. All right and just snap to it down here at the bottom, and then just reposition it. So it's not really a big deal, okay? All, all we're doing here is making sure we position it on the edge, whoops, of the model there. There we go. And we can finish it right there at the corner. Okay, so that when we freeze that layer for the viewports, Okay, we got a broken view like that. Pretty straightforward, right? Now the last thing that's missing here is just the annotations. So what I would recommend here is this. If we start in the top view, for example, right, make sure that those viewports are locked. So once you snap into that viewport, make sure it's locked so you can zoom in. Since this is the top view, just make sure that you're working with the top dimension layer. If you're in the front view, work with the front dimension layer. And what you'll be able to do is you'll notice that all the UCSs for each of the views is correctly oriented. That'll enable you, uh, to, together with the correct layer, to go ahead and annotate normally. So you can snap to corners and edges 
and place your dimensions. Okay. Make sure you include the proper uh, center and reference lines. And once you're finished, review your drawing before making your PDF uh, for publishing. And that'll complete presentation of the control bracket.